And we've now learned what Vice President Harris told her campaign staff on a call after they lost. I'm going to read a quote here. This is from the vice president. Yeah, this sucks. We all just speak truth. Why don't we, right? That is according to an Axios report that also talked to some staffers who did not like that that was the vice president's message after months of being told by their bosses that democracy was in danger if they lost. That, of course, changed after they lost. And we have tape to prove it. He is a genuine threat to our democracy. And that's not hyperbole. That is a God's truth. Donald Trump is an existential threat to our democracy and our most fundamental freedoms. He's a genuine danger to American security. Our fundamental freedoms are on the ballot. And so is our democracy. Is the message to people who are fearful based on what the messaging was about the state? <laughs> well, now you're just twisting everything around and that's really unfair. No, it is. No, 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 Jackie, it's unfair because I've been standing here trying to be very respectful to what happened the last two nights, uh, two nights ago. Michael Bloomberg, the billionaire, now says it probably wasn't great to cover up President Joe Biden's infirmities until they became undeniable on live TV. That is the same Michael Bloomberg President Biden gave a Presidential Medal of Freedom to in May. President Biden's remarks about this in the Rose Garden amounted to a pep talk for disappointed Dems. We all get knocked down. <clears throat> but the measure of our character, as my dad would say, is how quickly we get back up. Remember. A defeat does not mean we are defeated. The American experiment endures. We're going to be okay, but we need to stay engaged. And at no point did President Biden say that he was happy the vice president lost. But before and after talking about this election that was lost by the people who squeezed him out, he had a big smile. Back to you. I'm telling you, Peter, my prediction before he leaves uh, he's going to call you up and say, let's do that sit down, and we're going to get the true story. Mm. Uh, we'll see. I'd love to chat. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it really has. You just have to shout it. Uh, Peter, Good thanks job. so much.